trying the shrimp tempura and fish tempura tacos with the gaucho beans or bracho beans and cilantro lime rice. My friend James just uh, told me that if you ask them for fuzzy dust, they will provide you with this on the side. It's a seasoning, a special blend you add to your tacos or burritos or whatever you're ordering. So I'm gonna try it out for the first time, you guys. Sprinkle it on everything. It goes well with everything, right? Yes, sir. I never knew about fuzzy's dust. This looks good. This is the brisket quesadilla. They said the quesadillas are one of the most popular dishes here. And the famous fuzzy's queso and chips. This is queso is bomb. It's probably one of the best. It has good flavor to it. I'm gonna check out the quesadilla. Today we're trying Plato's Closet. We're gonna see what goodies they have in store for us. It's a secondhand store that sells brand name, high quality, and stylish clothing. Are you looking at clothes? Sorry, honey, but thrift shopping is not part of my brand. Plato's Closet turned out to be a flop. We didn't find anything this time. The only time I like thrift shopping is if we're in Paris, because if you're thrift shopping in Paris, there's probably like a bunch of really amazing designer pieces you're gonna find. But I feel like in the US, thrift shopping is just like, Dang the junk. sales section is so much better. The sales section of a new clothing store? Yeah. You can see we're right outside of downtown Fort Worth. We're about to watch Aladdin on the big screen, and we're gonna have the audio playing on our car stereo. So this is Coyote Drive-In Theater, Fort Worth. This is the concession stand restaurant, outdoor restaurant at the Drive-In Theater. There's actually a playground here, benches, beautiful chairs and sofas. There's like lawn furniture. Hang out here all day if you want. This is like in the middle of all of the outdoor screens. There's four screens and this is like in the middle. We're about to try their funnel cakes. It's only five dollars. Those of you who are down to party and have some drinks, they sell margaritas. They have a full bar here. Hey, we parked like right in the middle. Why'd you guys park so far on the side? Oh, I know. They want privacy. Oh, you guys need some privacy. <laughs> Willie Grubal. Okay, nice to get the We're here with our friends from Texas. They're telling us about all the best restaurants in Texas. You guys are saying red velvet taco is a must. Yeah. You know, must try. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and for our vegan friends over here, Spiral over in Fort Worth is definitely worth trying out. We did a review of Spiral Diner. If you guys want to see that, check it out in our channel below. Who has the best barbecue in Texas? That's one of the things I missed in California. There's like, yeah, quality there is not even close yeah, to Texas. Well, are we talking about at home backyard barbecue or are we talking restaurant style? Because if you're doing it at home, then you get our beef and then you have it at your house. So that would probably be, I would say, the best would be. But if you're going to do it at a restaurant, either Panther Center barbecue or uh, Heim barbecue are, as well. Those are both of the two better quality ones. But Panther City barbecue is right up there with Heim. It's just a smaller outfit. So, yeah. Okay. Brisket nachos. Look at the deliciousness. My mouth waters at the sight of this. Full taco. It's a breakfast brunch taco. This is the Nashville all vegan taco. This is the red velvet cake. 